Hi, my name is Anamika Hops, and this is The Art Friend Show, where every conversation focuses on getting to know the essence of creativity itself. I'd love to invite you as well to join me inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics and join in with other art friends around the world. Thanks so much for joining us, and let's get to the show. Welcome to the Art Friend Show. Here's an artist I'd like you to know. So, hi, my name is Anamika. I'm an artist in Portland, Oregon, and today we have a very special guest for you. Her name is Jennifer Orkin Lewis, and you may know her from her name August Wren here on Instagram. Jennifer is a person who I perceive as holding a lot of quiet power, and I have watched her build her career over many years now in an incredible commitment to herself and her art in a daily painting practice. So without further ado, I'm gonna invite her to join us here in the live and we'll get to know her. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Hi, welcome to the Art Friend Show. Thank you for coming on for an interview today. I'm just trying to like set this oh. up right. Um, hi. Hi. There. Yay. <sighs> it's good to so, see you. It's so nice to see you. And um, for those people who are tuning in here, can you just give us a, a quick nutshell where you live, what you love to make, and um, perhaps even how we met. I can tell the story or you can. It's up to you. Okay, well, I'll just tell you about me. So I'm um, a painter and illustrator. I live in New York. Um, I'm in New York City right now. Um, I use gouache and watercolor. I, I license a lot of my work for products and I um, have, I have some books and I um, teach. I do workshops around the world and I do um, live Zoom classes. And yeah, I bet you could probably introduce me better than I could talk about myself. Okay. I well, I, I, I thank you so much for, for giving yourself that introduction. And as a part of this show, I'm doing a hundred art friend interviews in a row. And part of it is to learn how to interview people and um, understand the best way to set you up for success as a guest too. So I just want to give you the biggest hug and thank you for coming in here to have this conversation. Jennifer, when I first met you, I still actually right now am so starstruck in oh. this, in this, yeah, yeah. But we're going to talk about that because one thing, one quality about you that I admire so much is your incredible dedication to your craft as an artist, to your practice and, and your amazing embodiment of this like peer to peer welcoming sense of belonging that I feel is such a strength in my own personal art heroes and it's it's one of the parts of our niche as self-represented artists that that i love so much and i feel like you're you're a leader in our community and you just you embody this incredible um humility and and strength together that that i admire very much so that's very kind thank you yeah um when I first met you, we went to um, a gathering of friends and, and new friends, all working artists um, hosted on Long Island, where we, we hung out for a weekend and painted and shared about our businesses. And I remember just absolutely freaking out when I got to see your paintings in person <laughs> and your, your incredible accumulation of daily practice is it is astounding and also gorgeous. Um, can you tell us a bit about the, your decision many years ago to begin painting every day and a bit of um, how you got started? 
Yeah, so for many years I was a textile designer and I worked in the industry and I had, you know, I had a nine to five job and I went, and, you know, um, and I really ended up hating that and having to leave, but it really gave me a really strong foundation in painting because we would paint patterns and recreate the colors or make new colors and have to work on color combinations. So, and I learned how to mix gouache exactly to, to match other colors. So when I look back on all those years that I maybe hated a lot of it, mm -hmm. it was very, very helpful for me for what I am doing now. Yeah. And um, so when my son was in high school, I realized I wanted, I didn't want, I needed something more. So I just started focusing on painting, on, on painting. And I, I, um, I, I wanted to sell my work for licensing, but not, I didn't have a really clear goal. Yeah. So what I ended up doing was just starting a daily painting practice. It was yeah. in 2014 and I got a cheap sketchbook and I just, I gave myself rules of 30 minutes a day, whatever medium I wanted to do, but it usually was gouache because that's my thing. Mm -hmm. um, I said, if I didn't have time or I didn't feel well, I could just make a dot on the paper, but I had to get up and do something. Um, I used a timer. And I just went for it and I did it and I was consistent doing that for probably six years. Yeah. Yeah. It was wow. a so long time. And then by the end I was, yeah. you know, I just, it wasn't serving me as well anymore to feel like I had to do that every day. Yeah. I knew that I would continue to do it if I stopped for a day or two or, you know, so, so yeah. now I'm not, I do paint all the time, but I don't have that pressure on myself to make sure I do something Every yeah. Day, so. Yeah. Can you share a bit about it? And you know, if an answer comes, it comes. Um, how that might have transformed or evolved you as a person to do that painting practice? Yeah. How did it change you? Oh my God! Well, first of all, I never thought I could do something every day. I, I never thought that I could be a consistent or disciplined, you know, I brushed my teeth. That's what I always say. I, before that, like I brushed my teeth every day. Or, <laughs> yeah. or, you know, I went to sleep or something. Cool. <laughs> Things oh, that you just do. Yeah. But um, by doing that every day, I learned that I like, I have some control. Like, I, I think it is a little bit about control. Like I felt like I could just doing something every day made me feel stronger, you know, yeah. like I was able to, you know, I didn't give up. Mm -hmm. That was big. Giving up is easy, you know, mm -hmm. and I yeah. give up a lot on a lot of things, but I didn't on this and it, um, it changed me as a person. It also changed my career because I ended up getting noticed and I got a lot of jobs. I got an agent for a long time. I, um, my light, my work is licensed all over the place. And so it changed a lot of things, but I never started it because I wanted the, each painting I did to become something or for me to sell it. It was, mm. it was something that I wanted to do because it was something I saw. It was something I needed to get it out. Yeah. So. Yeah, totally. That, yeah. that personal integrity and the sense of like, control over one thing in your life and then what i'm hearing is like how powerful you are yeah how and i'm powerful. still trying to start with that because once you start getting a ton of work then you're doing the paintings and you feel like well what is what is this going to be for what is uh -huh. you know so it's very hard to keep back from that so like i'm still just painting because i want to and not because I need to because I want to sell that thing. That. And that it's very hard after a while to separate that. I, so I could imagine. Yeah. yeah. Where do you feel like your growth edge is now as an artist? Like where you're, do you have, are you like, I'm good. I'm chilling. No, in my no, no, no. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually really want to, um, 
I've been slowing down on my commercial work a lot. Like I'm just, I mean, I love it. I love doing it and I love having the, the relationships and having the work out there and everything, but yeah. I'm kind of tired of, like I, I'm not interested in just like going out and finding work. And if something comes along that's amazing and that it fits in with what I want to be doing and my values and all that, I'll, I'm going to do it and I want to. Yeah. But I don't want to just do every last, you know, thing. So I'd rather right now just, I want to sort of go back to the beginning where I'm just making things. I'm just painting things because I want to. I also really love the teaching and I love connecting with the people that way. And yeah. Sort of sharing what I know and that's fun. Yeah. I want to ask you about teaching in a second. Um, could I ask you what would be a dream project? What if you like if something were to be offered and you'd, you'd say yes to that? I would love to have that created in the world. Um, well, I've never had wallpaper. I want to do wallpaper. Uh -huh. So that would be fun. Cool. Um, awesome. I, you know, I know I, I think about that sometimes like what I mean, I guess you could say if you know, if Gucci called me and said they wanted to, do my, you know, my whatever, but I, I'm, I, it's not like something I'm striving for. I don't know. I'm not sure right now. That's I, one I of my like, favorite. You know, I'm, I'm in a bit of a transition right now too, as far as what I want to do. Uh -huh. I feel like I'm, I'm slowing down so I can find the time to think about that. And yeah, you know, you know. totally. Do you feel like there's a collective sense of being at a crossroads or there I'm at a crossroads professionally. I'm wondering if you have that sense in our community. It's like, huh. I have a little bit of a theory you know what? about it. Yeah, yeah. There's a few friends of mine who I feel like are in a similar spot. Yeah. 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 I'm wondering if we're all emerging from a bit of the, like, you know, just, upheaval of the pandemic and the, the all, you know, the ways that we all changed. Um, and of course, we're, we're still dealing with it. But now there's yeah. a bit, there's a bit of a time to, to actually um, breathe and choose what's next. I'm wondering how that may be factoring it. It may not, maybe more of a personal crossroads. Yeah. But yeah. No, I, yeah. I, there are certainly people I feel like are in the same place. Yeah. yeah. I've been seeing a lot of that. Um, Okay, teaching. Tell me, I love teaching. I love talking to people. I've been, I feel like more of a teacher than anything else. If I do like pie charts of my income over the last 10 years, mentoring has just been like munching up the whole pie. Uh, <laughs> and so uh -huh. I'm on a quest to find out, um, you know, my new kind of, my new actual style as a visual artist and also my new offering as a teacher. And I'm curious because I've watched you you know, you have Patreon, you do these retreats, you do Zoom. Can you tell me a bit about your teaching world and yeah. what lights you have there? So I was teaching on my own for a while. I was doing some retreats here and there, and, and that was great. But then I hooked up with my friend Gail Kavaker. Who's amazing. Who you can look her up, and she's amazing. She does beautiful paintings. And we're a very good yin-yang kind of match. Mm. Our painting styles are kind of similar-ish. Mm -hmm. like as far as technique the way we work and yeah. um but there's sort of a connection that works together as far as how we share things and i think it really works well together so our teaching in the last two years that's what i've been traveling with her um a couple times a year we go we've been in morocco and spain and france and we're going back to spain in at the end of the month <laughs> And amazing. those are amazing workshops. They're so yeah. much fun. Yeah. And, and then we do these Zooms together um, where everyone comes. They're donation only, so they're accessible, you know, for people who can't afford it. And um, Cool. I didn't realize that. Yeah. We do it that way. And it's, um, we pick a theme every month and we each show what we're, how we're approaching something and we talk through it. And people seem to have a really good time and really learn something. and. And I, I actually, I have a lot of fun. We both have a lot of fun doing those. So, and that's what makes awesome. it enjoyable. I wouldn't do it if it wouldn't, if it wasn't fun. I love, love that. Yeah. I love how you're like eagling too. You're like, I love this thing. Yeah, you. yeah. That's 
And I learned from everyone else, you know. Oh, yeah. You, you know, it's amazing how much, like, back and forth you get. So. I, I always, yeah, I, I mean, I learned so much from my clients and my students. It's, it, it's so fulfilling to participate yeah. in, you know, and co-create, really. Teaching, we, we don't know everything as the teachers. We're holding the space, we're sharing what we know, yeah. and we're, we're yeah. Um, your scarves are gorgeous. Oh, Can thanks. you talk about your scarves a bit? Yeah, and so that's I have, um, I'm actually wearing one. This is an older one, which I, I actually turned, can you even see it? Yeah, it's this beautiful. Is an older one. And I actually just found a few. They're not on my website, but if anyone was is interested, just DM me. Oh, you I'll, have a few? You I have like a few, I found a few, top. like I, I'm always cleaning up and then I find things because I put, I, you know, squirrel things away because I might want it someday. Cool. So. But I have two new ones coming out. Um, they're in customs right now. I'm just waiting for them to be released so that I should have them by the end of the week or next week. So they'll be up on my website. I'll probably start a pre-order soon. And I unfortunately do not have them to show you in front of me, but they're really big 44 inch square model silk and the Ooh. like floral like big giant floral and like the detail of the paintings are uh, it, it just came out beautiful and i'm really i think they're my favorite ones i've done so far. oh my gosh i'm so excited for you to get them yeah. in that moment of you opening the box and yeah. how incredibly full circle is that you know do you from your um career at first in textile uh, design. Oh, I know. Isn't that funny? And and I don't have, I don't want to have like a big, I don't want to be the kind of, I don't want to have a business where I just have lots of product and I'm shipping, but yeah. I do love doing the scarves. And mm -hmm. so I just do a few a year or something, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like a little side hustle, I guess. But, yeah. But it's fun and it's very, very um, satisfying for me. That's um, amazing. So. Ugh, you're so cool. Oh. I love talking to you. <laughs> um, okay, we we floated this idea and we were gonna feel it out. Do you want to do a a quick mini painting while we're chatting, uh, or do you um, want to wrap this one up? No, I don't have to wrap it up. But I I realized we we did say that, but I don't have the right pad in front of me right now. I have to walk over there or something. Okay. Well. Okay. All right. Give me a second. Okay. Cool. Oh, I'm gonna grab my art materials too. Oh, I, I, so actually, it was right here. I got it. So you have to know how incredibly like flexible and spontaneous Jennifer is being because I was like, hey, in addition to an art friend interview, let's draw each other's portraits while we're talking. Yeah, this is gonna be <laughs> interesting. Yes, <laughs> I know, and I'm just I'm. I'm laughing too because, of course, part of me is freaking out. Like, what am I doing? Yeah, but, well, well, whatever. I'm not, whatever. I'm not, ugh, how do we make ourselves? That's the fun work? of it, though, right? It's ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, like, we got this. All right, let's just do it. Okay, let's. We'll just do okay. it. Okay. I'm just doing this in black and white. <laughs> okay, cool. Good to know. I am doing it on a. Uh, you, do you have a little bun up there? Yeah. <laughs> Cut off. Here. There you go. Okay. Right now. Okay, so this is hard people watching because um, neither of us are staying still, right? Because we're... Yeah, <laughs> I was bouncing all around trying to grab my material, so we got well, this. So this is like kind of a just person portrait. <laughs> yeah. Now. <laughs> when this idea 
idea came to me, I was like, really? Creativity, you want me to add that much more pressure? This is great. It's so great. It's challenging. <laughs> um, here, let's see here. So if any artist watching, all the kind of like kvetching that Jennifer and I just did is like so normal in the creative process where we're, we're saying, okay, I believe in myself, but the conditions aren't quite right. So please forgive me for whatever the outcome is. And then <laughs> we're able yeah. to work and then it's gonna be great. Whatever we draw is perfect. Why don't you tell them how we met? Oh, okay. So. Um, if you're just tuning in, hi, my name is Anamika. I am a artist in, I live in Portland, Oregon. And years ago, I met Jennifer when we got to gather on Long Island with a bunch of artists. It was kind of a weekend together, hanging out and making art and talking about our businesses called Artists by the Sea. It wasn't, it was, it was absolutely magical and, um, at the time, Jennifer, you were about maybe three years into your daily painting project. Something like that. And yeah. you just had this incredible rich accumulation of paintings and you brought all your acrylic inks and, or, or your, I don't know. Probably gouache. Oh yeah, all your probably gouache. Okay. Yeah. Seeing you work was so inspiring. <laughs> oh my gosh. And just also, you know, I'm a mother now and I think back to how you were supporting yourself and your son who was high school or maybe college by then. And uh, just, you're just so inspiring to me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Working through, through your everyday, through, through your headaches, which we're grateful you're no longer having. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And just sharing with all of us, you really shared your process generously as you're doing right now. Honey Ben. See, I think I'm at pink. I'm done. Okay. Want to see? Um, I'll hold it up. Yeah, just a second. Okay. I need like okay. back to <laughs> rain this one out. All right. I feel like this I look down. like super midwinter. Like you're, you look like sun, and I look like winter dark. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It reminds me of how you sometimes paint yourself in tropical settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always do yeah. that. Okay, my love. Ready? Ready. Oh, no. One, two, three. Go. Oh, 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 there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. That's so great. What did you do? Did you put that? Did you paint on a black ground? Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's so great. What's fun? Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that. Look, you got, oh, I love the pattern you put. Look at that. Oh, oh that was so, so fun. Aw, thank you, dear. This is, Art friend. Yeah. yeah. This is my I, sketchbook. This is the sketchbook I use for just sketching and ideas and da, 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 Can we see just a little bit of one of your sketch? Oh, your recent one with your women's history? Oh, yeah. Maybe so this we'll month I'm painting. End with that. This month. I'm painting um, women's just um, from I love painting from vintage photos so this is my I, I'm doing just doing them in my sketchbook but so they're all black and white photos and oh. I'm just um, like you can see oh my goodness y'all she is um, one of our living legends Sorry, I don't mean yeah, Like this is my grandmother and my mom, Aww. and this one is just a random person. Uh, 
No, this one actually was my mom. It doesn't look anything like her, but you know, I this love that reflection beautiful. actually. Yeah. This is oh, this is some work. We're, um, I'm doing a Zoom class on on Sunday, and that, I'm not going to show more of that. But that's part of the theme we'll be doing. What time on um, Sunday? Sunday is my time? Sunday is. Uh, I have a Zoom class. You can find the link in my bio. Cool. Um, this is from Eunice. She was on, and this is she was this girl here yeah was uh, um cindy and she's been on two of our workshops in morocco no, um in mexico and in spain and her name and, and eunice sent that in and then um Aww. someone sitting in the grass and Love this one i haven't i'm not quite done i haven't posted it yet that's today's oh wow we get our sneak peek yeah. beautiful yeah. so you yeah, are amazing. It's fun. Thank yeah, you for I sharing yourself with yeah, us. You're welcome. Yay. Hmm. Well, this has been a treat of a treat to get to see you and talk to you. Just came in, so I might. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Okay. A phone call just came in, so something happened, but I think it's okay. Okay. Yep. Well, we're just wrapping up, so. Thank you for joining us for this Art Friend interview with Jennifer Orkin Lewis of August Run. And my name is Anamika. I'm doing a 100 day challenge where I'm interviewing a different artist every day. And if you're an artist watching this and you wanna come on the show, there's a link in my bio to schedule. I'd love to meet you. I'm doing it in an effort to workshop the idea for this show long term, learn how to be a better interviewer. And I'm also at a crossroads professionally. I've been working as a creative mentor and I, I work deeply with clients and I want to kind of find out how to offer that in a bigger way. So every conversation, we're meeting a different artist, we're talking about creativity and I'm just so touched, Jennifer, that you that you're like, hey, I signed myself up. Oh, it'll be good to see you. I'm just like, yeah, it is. Ah. This was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if um, if you know other artists, Jennifer, who you think would love to come on, okay, um, I'd love to meet them. Okay. Like maybe Gail or yeah, yeah. I, I'll so, tell them. Yep. That'd be amazing. Okay. Well, so much appreciation. It was so fun to play with you. I'm gonna mail you this. So I'll oh, follow okay. Up. I can do that. You don't have. Do you don't have. If it's in your sketchbook. And um, all right, everybody, we'll Bye see you everyone. tomorrow. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Bye. I'd love to have you inside of Art Friends School, where we go deeper into these topics. Follow the link that's in the show notes or find it on my website at onamika.com.